If you are looking to do voice cloning locally, privately and freely with the help of artificial intelligence, then VoiceCraft is a good option. I have already covered VoiceCraft internal mechanisms, architecture and collab demo in my previous video. But for this video, I will be showing you how you can get it installed locally on Linux. If you have Windows subsystem for Shell or Linux, you can easily install the same in Windows 2. Before I show you as how to get it installed, let me give you a very quick overview of VoiceCraft. VoiceCraft is a token infilling neural codec language model that achieves state-of-the-art performance on both speech editing and zero-shot text-to-speech on in-the-wild data during audiobooks, internal videos and podcasts. To clone or edit an unseen voice, VoiceCraft needs only a few seconds of inference and that's it. Having said that, let me take you to my local system where I am running Ubuntu 22.04. I have a 1 GPU card of 22 GB. Let me quickly show you. This is my GPU card, but I believe you can run the same on 16 GB of VRAM easily. Let me clear the screen. Now, make sure that you have Conda installed. Anaconda or Miniconda should be good. If you don't know how to install it, please search my channel and you should be able to install it quite easily. That is done. Let me first step git clone the repo because we'll be using it from the source. Or maybe before that, let me create a conda environment that will make things so easy. And we have to be sticking with these versions because everything is compatible. So let's create the conda environment voice graph with Python 3.9.16. Let's press Y here and it is going to install everything nice and clean locally and it won't impact our system. Let's activate VoiceCraft and you will see that now it appears in the parenthesis. Let me clear the screen and then let's get installed AudioCraft everything in this repo and that is going to take a bit of a time and don't worry about these commands I will also drop the link to them. But we have to get them installed in order because that is one thing which is very important in this case. So let's wait for these stuff to get installed. It takes a bit of a time. Took a bit of a time, but that is done. Let's also install Xformers, which is an optimization library for NVIDIA GPU card and helps in optimizing the generation. So let's wait for it to finish. That is done and now let's simply install Torch 2.01 and 2.02. Let's wait for it to finish. That is done. And let's also install ffmpeg. I think we would need to use sudo. Yes. So sudo apt-get install ffmpeg. That is done. And now let's install this es uh, espeak dash ng for phonemizer. And phonemizer is primarily allows simple phonemization of words and text in many languages. And there are four backends eSpeak, eSpeak, Umbrella, Festival, and Segment. So we are going with this eSpeak for now, but we will also check out the others. So let's, sorry, I just for, keep forgetting to use sudo with it because I'm using Ubuntu user. Press capital Y here and let's wait for it to finish. Should not take too long. Now let's install TensorBoard for visualization of hyperparameters and stuff. That is done. And now let's install some of the auxiliary libraries like Phonomizer, Dataset, Torch Matrix, Hugging Face Hub for downloading the model. Let's wait for it to finish. All of them are done. And now let's install Montreal Forced Aligner or MFA in short. MFA um, will time align a transcript to a corresponding audio file at the phone and word level. So provided there exists a set of pre-trained acoustic models. So that is what this is going to do. So let's install it. It is going to take a bit of a time. So let's wait. And you can simply 
press y here and it is going to proceed and this is going to take a bit of a time it installs a lot of things so let's wait for it took a fair bit of time but that is done and now let's install mfa uh, dictionary and then also uh, we will install another one so let me run it and that is done in a few seconds and you can install another one let's wait for it to finish and that is done too and this step is optional POC one sometimes it gives error sometimes it's not so just run it for the sake of it it's always a good idea to complete all the steps but um, this might not be needed but let let's see if it works then it is fine so let's wait for it to finish and simply press y here and it is going to install it so let's wait for it to get installed and i will clear the screen that is done let me clear the screen cool then we need to install this ip kernel so let's wait for it and that is also done now let me clear the screen up till this point all the environment is set now we need to install all of these dependencies so let me run it and of course i would need to put sudo before it before because it's, otherwise it is going to give me an error so it is going to install it that is almost there done let's also install festival that is taking a bit of a time but at last done let's also build all the essential ones with the sudo and then we have to install all the sound tools with the sudo with apt-get so let's me run it and that is going to take a bit of a time so let's wait for it that finished and then there is one more prerequisite with libxml so let's wait for it to finish and then finally we need to install all of these gradio requirements because i really want to run it in the gui so let's see if it works or not on ubuntu so let me run it quickly and let's wait for this one to finish so this is where all the installation is done and now in order to run it all you need to do is to just run python greedy underscore app dot by and it is going to run it on your local system at port 7860 and you just need to access that in browser so let me run it and then access it in the browser so you see that it is running now and let me take you to my browser and i will show you and this is how the voice craft looks like on your local system this is our input audio and you just play it out around and then this is the original script you can also transcribe you can also align you can set the mode here you can do smart transcribe and then this is the output audio also from here you can select your model or from here you can load your model so i have clicked on the model and you can see that it is loading the model now so let's wait for the model to get downloaded first time it is takes a bit of a time and if you look at your terminal this is where model is being downloaded and this is where it is still processing and this is where it is still downloading it so let's wait for it to finish and then we will proceed further here and that is done let me play this audio and you will see that this will be the original script Gwynplaine had besides for his work and for his feats of strength round his neck and over his shoulders an esclavine of leather how good is that amazing stuff now if you want to use your own audio all you need to do is to click on this x here and then you just need to upload your audio here so let me do transcription with my own audio clip so let me load the file this is a file in my own voice let me play it for you this audio clip is just to test the gpt so it's web ui and i'm going to so that's it and if i click on transcribe there you go so it is just it has very very nicely transcribed it how good is that 
Now in order to do the voice cloning with it, all you need to do first is to click on load models. It is going to load the model and then wait for it. Once the model is loaded, as I said, you can simply select your own file that I selected in my own voice. So let me play it. This audio clip is just to test the GPT Soviet's web UI and I'm going to try. So now in my voice, I want to clone this text here. So click on run here and you can see on the right hand side, it is now cloning it. So let's wait for it to finish and then in my voice or similar voice this text will be spoken so let's wait for it it has done it so let me play it i cannot believe that the same model can also do text to speech synthesis too so it's not exactly my clone but i think close enough uh, but amazing model of course you can fine tune it on your voice but for the zero short one i think without any example this is amazing and of course you can fine tune it and maybe create any singer's voice and then you can just have it for your own fun purposes of course you have to keep in perspective the copyrights and all that stuff but anyway so this is how easy it is to do voice cloning locally freely and privately with this voice craft i will drop the link to this repo in video description and i will also put all the code i used in my blog and i will drop the link in video description so play around with it i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions please let me know if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching